Coming at you with Top Tip Tuesday from me. This is something I shared in my nutrition group this morning and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think so many people underestimate the importance of getting in enough water every day and truly hydrating your body. So um, with that being said, if you're struggling to lose weight or you just want to be healthy um, or you're holding a lot of extra bloat, chances are you're probably not getting in enough water. So you should be drinking at least, at least half your body weight in ounces of water every day. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you should be drinking 50 ounces of water or more a day. If you weigh 200 pounds, you should be drinking 100 ounces of water or more a day. And I know that might seem like a lot to some of you guys, but I promise you, you're going to start to feel so good because what happens is... And, and I get this question all the time. Well, like, um, it's annoying. Aren't I going to have to go pee a lot? Yes, you are. You're going to have to pee a lot. And that's okay. That's good because what what's happening is you're actually flushing out as you're hydrating yourself and putting all that water in. You're flushing out all the toxins and bad things in your body. And so you'll start to see that your weight loss journey will um, will happen quicker. You will also start to see that you will just feel better and healthier. You'll not be as bloated. Um, your it, it makes sure that your liver and all of your intestines and everything else is functioning properly as well. And the other thing is that a lot of times people don't understand that um, your body doesn't actually know the difference between hunger and dehydration. It's the same feeling that you're experiencing. So a lot of times when you feel like you're hungry, you're actually just dehydrated. And if you would drink a full cup of water before you eat anything, a lot of times you'll find that you're not actually hungry you were just thirsty and your body was dehydrated. So that's another tip for you guys. Like try to make sure before you eat anything, you drink a bunch of water. And then if you're still hungry, fine, eat. But a lot of times we're not actually hungry. We're just thirsty and our body's dehydrated. And it's like, hello, put something in me and you go straight for the cupboard and shove food down your throat when really your body just needed water. Um, so, you know, think about that as well. And then the last tip I want to give you guys with water is um, sparkling water is awesome as long as it's like the zero calorie, nothing added, no sugar, no anything like that. Um, and no, like you don't want aspartame in it. You don't want all those fake ingredients. Just make sure it's just straight up plain sparkling water like LaCroix or bubbly. Those are good ones. Um, but sparkling water should not count towards that um, that goal of water that you're getting. So if you weigh 100 pounds and you're trying to get 50 ounces of water in a day, sparkling water shouldn't count towards that. You need 50 ounces of just straight up water if you weigh 100 pounds. Whatever your half your body weight is in ounces, that's how much water you need. You can add like fruits or cucumber, basil, mint, um, strawberries, lemon juice, lime juice, things like that. But I just want you to know that sparkling water isn't the same. It won't actually hydrate your body the same way. And this is how I like to think about it because if, you're, if you think about your body, like your body has water in it and you're replenishing that. Well, your body doesn't have sparkling water in it. So when you try to say that you're replenishing and hydrating your body with sparkling water, like, great, I'm glad you're getting some water in, girl, but it's not the same thing. It's not gonna hydrate your body the same way. So if you're feeling like you're at a plateau or you're stuck in your journey or whatever, look at those things. Look at, are you getting enough water? Are you getting in half your body weight or more in ounces of water a day? And how much of that water is sparkling water or um, other drinks that have water in it don't count towards your water count. So just because your Americano has water in it, that doesn't count towards your water count. Or just because, um, you know, you're drinking, I don't know, you put water in your shake or you have water in something else like that doesn't count towards your water count. So I just want to share that with you guys because it's something that has helped me a lot on my journey and helped me feel so much better um it helped me my skin clear up help my energy help my bloat all these things and it's something every single person can do like you don't have to buy anything water is free um but try to get in at least half your body weight in ounces of water a day and yes you're gonna have to pee a lot but it means 
yeah, no. So, um, things like crystal light, I don't add any, I do not, I don't drink that. Um, it has a lot of sugary fake crap in it. Um, so I do not drink that, but I do do like sparkling water, like I said, but I don't count that towards my water count. And if you're adding like crystal light and things like that, it's not the same as just straight up water. So make sure that you are getting in half your body weight in ounces of water a day. That's straight up water. Yes, you can add like extracts, you know, like vanilla extract or mint or orange or whatever or so a little bit of lemon or a little bit of lime or a little bit of fruits or um, cucumber or whatever to spice up your water but um, if you are drinking like like my my pre-workout it has water in it obviously but I don't count that towards my water because once I mix it it doesn't work the same it's great that I'm getting that in like it makes me get energized for my workout but it is not water so make sure you're getting in half your body weight in straight up water every day and you will you'll see changes in your body you'll see changes in your skin mood energy everything and you will feel incredible so um that is my top tip Tuesday for you guys hope it was helpful um, once you get your water in, I want to see you tag me, tag me in your stories that you're getting your water in today and um, let's meet our goals of half our body weight in water. I bet you can do it. I believe in you.